Only you I will serve. Jehovah Nisi, only you I will serve. I have no other God. I bring you the word of hope today. The word is based on the caption, Stand Still. Why should you stand still to see the salvation of the Lord? As we speak right now, beloved, there are people who woke up this morning in the hospital. There are people who have been rushed to the hospital as we speak right now. There are people who don't even have hope. They don't know where their life is turning to. Stand still wherever you are. There are people who woke up today in their homes. When they started this year, there was lots of hope. They had dreams and aspiration for tomorrow. But as we speak right now, they are challenged. There are psychiatric cases. There are those of them that are dementia. There are those of them that even their cases are yet to be diagnosed. Stand still. As we speak right now, there are people who have been condemned finally into the prisons. Some are waiting execution. The judge, as we speak now, is condemning some people to life imprisonment. Stand still. Give me a reason why you should not thank God. Give me a reason why you would commit suicide. Give me a reason why you should injure yourself with the power of drug and alcohol. There is hope for you. There is hope. I bring the word of hope to you. There is a way out. Trust the Lord for it. Wait on the Lord. Stand still. There are people who woke up this morning and love was, is dead and gone. There are people who woke up this morning without any hope of tomorrow. But the Lord is saying he will make a way for you. God will make a way for you. The power of God is real. Try and experience one today. Stand still and enjoy the presence of God. This month for us is the month of prophecy. And prophecy are not meant to be understood. Prophecy are just few words spoken. But that stand eternity. Why? Because those few words are divinely inspired. I could share one with you if you do not mind. Wherever you are, if you say with me, I am a stone, a tried stone, a precious corner stone, a sure foundation. As it is written, it shall come to pass in my life that the stone which the builders rejected has become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. As thou, O Lord, will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, thou, O Lord, will anoint my head with oil, my cup will run to overflowing. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. You can say this as often as you can. But remember, everything will let us down. Jesus will never fail. I'm just sharing from, with you the word from Hebrew chapter 10 all the way from verse 35 to verse 39. 35 says, Cast not away that your confidence. It has a great recompense of reward. Verse 36 says, You have need of patience that after doing the will of God, you might receive the promise thereof. 37 says, Though it looks as if he that is bringing what you need tarries, it's a wait for him. For he that is coming shall not tarry. That reward, that your expectation, that is on the way, that miracle, though it looks as if it's tarrying, wait for it is worth it. Wait, it will not tarry. Verse 38 made it clear that the just will live by his faith. Make sure you live by your faith. Don't draw back. Don't draw back. Don't stop that prayer. Don't stop praising God. You are the next miracle. God bless you.